Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make some sort of windows clean, window cleaners game, cleaning game. Sadly, there's only two viewers, so please, please, please look up Lobotara on Scratch and find and look up the Studio VR stuff and then try to play this. Most of the other games are pretty way more un even unfinished, but, yeah. So anyway, let's start, I'll show you how, what, how the game is first. Come in. Okay. Alright, let me turn on the cam. Yes, that's how my room looks like. Okay, so uh, there will be scratch, and then you could just wipe that off. And then there will be a gong sound at the end. And so. Just close the webcam now. Okay, I'm just gonna pack all this stuff. Because I just want. So yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay guys, so I'm back, so now I will, I got a new uh, project, I got the sprite in, packed in my backpack, and this sprite would be useless. Okay, okay. so for the costumes, it has three sprites. This is costume one, costume two, and costume three. It's most recommended to be splatters because this is a window cleaner game. So yeah. And then there would be two sounds. One that will play once you fully clean a a a splat. Which is you'll hear it a bunch in the game. And what you haven't heard is that the end you, there would be there also would be audio for the end. Okay. Well it's kinda like not right. Okay. Oh, it's also came here. So you need to make the um, variables countdown difficulty di right now nice accidentally said it's your difficulty max splat my variable is just and then score and splats on screen okay i'm just gonna i should probably put the score on it. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in. Okay. You know, I need to. Alright. Okay. Now you say, when green flag clicked, hide. Set max flats to 30. I believe. I made this a long time ago, so I believe this means it will, the maximum um, amount of splats on the screen will be 30. Set splats on screen to be 0, so, which is how much splats are on screen, and then score, score. Forever, 
If splats on screen is smaller than maximum splat, so like it's 20 and maximum splat is 30, then it will keep running. Set size to pick random 10 to 25. Switch costume to pick random 1 to 3. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what the names actually because this is 1, 2, 3. But it's red. I recommend not to not name him anything. And then go to X, pick random negative 200 to 200. And Y to pick random negative 150 to 150. And then create clone myself. Now let's... You could pause the video uh, to do... To put together this. I'm just gonna... Okay, it, once you're done with that, you go to when I start as a clone, which is in the control. Right. Change splats on screen by one, so we so we would know that there were there was an, another map splat. So, because as since the original one uh, sprite was hidden, you can't see it if you if it's because if you clone a sprite that's hidden already, it will always stay hidden when it's cloned. Repeat five. Wait until the wait until uh the. You also need video sensing. I forgot to tell you that. You need the video, which you could always go get here, and then you'd find video sensing and click on that, and you'll get. Wait until video motion on sprite is more than difficulty. You know, I should probably show the difficulty. I should just rename it. I made this when I was younger. Okay. When video motion on sprite is bigger than difficulty, because the difficulty shows how much is how much how many times do you have to uh, move up. Your body part on the spray. Then change ghost effect by 20. Then it then it would uh, disappear. Change and then outside of the repeat five, change score by one. So the score raises. Change splats on screen by negative minus one. So it knows that a split has been uh, removed. Then take the sound for when, uh, when, for when, uh, you completely wipe one, a splat, I'm using this one, and then you take a start sound, whistle thumb, or any sound you're using, then you delete the clone. This is the most vital, one of the most vital parts here. When the green flag get clicked, set difficulty to 40. Turn video on. Oh, I think that's just... I, maybe we should just hide it because... Turn video on. If, without this block, you won't be able to use your buddy. And then, when the green flag clicked, Set countdown to 60 seconds. This is how long the game will last. You could change it to any number you want. Repeat until countdown is smaller than 1 to 0. Wait 1 second and change countdown by negative 1. Minus 1. Stop. And then this will stop other scripts and sprites. Will keep. Will uh, stop other, the other codes. And it's outside the repeat until loop. And then broadcast message one.
Name it whatever you want, but I don't care, but just me. And then when I receive your message here, play sound gong. That's the M sound. Choose any sound you want. Okay. And then delete this clone. Alright. Since I'm since I'm the that I'm making a video right now, I'm just going to set this 10 seconds. Alright. Alright, it works. And then you can see the countdown. And then nothing. It all disappears once. And I got score 43, which is actually quite a lot. Okay, so that's it for the video. See you, guys. Bye.